Welcome back to a moment of Zen Pinball 2. With me. Yes. And now we're playing some more Zen Studios, Zen Pinball 2, and this time, the Sentinel of Liberty, the shield bearer himself, the one and only. Yeah, thank you, th thank you for doing that a little bit late. Or a little bit early, actually. It still worked. Yeah, as, as I was talking. So another one of the, not, not one of the early tables, but one of the first, like, new ones that had come out after the initial batch. And yeah, you see Captain America, Red Skull, you, you know what to expect here. Hashtag Merka, that sort of stuff. Let's get it going. This one's neat because this is more of a, like, this is World War II period. And a pretty fun table. Albeit a little bit difficult. A little bit. You got the Cap there, you got Bucky, you got the Howling Commandos. You know all this stuff. There's some serum over there or something like that. It's cap. The Tesseract. I'm sorry. The, I'm sorry. The Cosmic Cube. Let's get official on this. There's Baron, Baron Zemo walks around somewhere. Where is that jerk? He's over down, by, uh, yeah, he's down here somewhere. Usually, he usually only uh, shows up when you, when you screw up. Also, I like the background on this one because you're playing on the back of a, an aircraft carrier, or, or rather, a, uh, a bomber. Ah. And you could not save Bucky. Oh well. Oh neither well. Could, neither could Cap. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> ouch. That hurts. You're gonna make all the fangirls upset. Fangirls watch our show? <laughs> no, but if you keep insulting Bucky, they will. Oh! Oh, there he is. There's that uh, jerk who, who has, what, he has glue on his mask and he can't get it off, right? Yeah, so he just puts a crown on top of it. Stupid dummy. <laughs> You're dummy, Baron Zemo. Zemo. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Z Zemo is that, uh, you alcoholic water. Uh, I was going to, I thought you meant Zima Ion. No, I'm... No, 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 I meant... Really? I meant Zima Zima. Yeah, a couple tables. Did, did Cap have... Uh, not Cap. Yeah, Iron Man did. Had, all these tables have three flippers, right? Uh, something like that. Don't ever forget about the top flipper. That's... That's important pinball tips, yo. Yeah, let's see if you can get the cube this time. That's always neat to watch. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. shit right into that cube. There you go. Caps. Uh-huh. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah, you almost <laughs> lost it. Hey, at least you get... This is, I think, one of the first games where you actually start getting decent, like, bonuses and jackpots and such. Kind of, but not really. With much. the exception of, like, Fantastic Four, <laughs> those early tables, I'm looking at you, Iron Man, had really bad bonuses. So they got that, uh, they got that Civil War coming up. I enjoyed the first, I enjoyed the first Cap movie as well as you can, I think. I remember I mean, it was a setup for the Avengers. Yeah, it, it was. If any movie was a setup for the Avengers of, of any of the early Marvel films, that was the biggest one. I mean, heck, the post credit sequence was an early no-CGI trailer for Avengers. Yeah. So they just had the characters kind of standing around and talking because they didn't have any CG sequences in yet. But, 
but it was still good, and it's interesting to note that how drastically different the second film is from the first, but you almost can't even think of them as that like anymore. Hey, the second film is say oh the second film saved the uh, Agents of Shield. But you can't <laughs> you, Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You can't really think of Captain America Winter Soldier as a sequel to Captain America. You're it's a sequel to the greater Marvel Cinematic Universe. I guess it's getting to the point where you all of the previous movies are you know, let, let's ignore The Incredible Hulk for a second, but it's almost near like all of these movies are essentially now required viewing to figure out what's going on in the Marvel movies. True. And Lord knows, Civil War when it comes out is going to be drastically different from Winter Soldier. Yes. Yeah, well, you could say the second one was a spy thriller with superheroes. Mm, I don't know. That's the top one. Yeah. It definitely had those the bit of traces of, like, espionage and eluding Hydra and, you know, stuff about government overreach and privacy and, you know, uh, some such. Oh, you gotta get them howlers. Okay, Robert Redford was in it. Yeah, that's true. That, what does that tell you about superhero movies? Come on. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah, that extra... Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, Cap. I don't know how to do this. Thing. Okay, I got it. I got okay, it. Okay, where the light? Too late. Oh, no, okay. I you barely had time to even figure out how that works. It was a flipper. Because of that, I lost my thing looking for the commandos. No. Oh! Oh! That's what I hate about that ramp there. That little side ramp will drop you right down in the center like that. And you are allergic to tilting, so you don't ever want to save yourself. So just so you know, Matt is subtly flipping me off right now. I <laughs> need to share that with our uh, LSDs. I'm not telling people what my middle name is. <laughs> it's, uh... Hey! Donnie Brook? I will kill you on camera and hire somebody else to edit this for me. Donnie Brook <laughs> would be a good middle name. Don't think I don't know people who would edit this for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Captain America, Zen Pinball, uh, what are your thoughts? How do you, in the overall pantheon of, uh, tables, what do you, th how do you feel? <clears throat> It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not too hard. But you have to get to the side quest first, and that's kind of hard to do. Okay. How, how many? Uh, how many cosmic cubes would you give this? Out, out, of, out of how many? Out of how many? I don't know. That's that's <laughs> marvelous. That's Matt Bish's official rating. I don't know. Out of I don't know. That's a pretty good score. We'll be back in the future with another episode of A Moment of Zen Pinball 2. With me. So long, everybody.